Okay, so I guess it worked, so I'm going to try to make this a fast video because apparently fast videos upload just fine. Um, so, fertility note. No, I'm not pregnant. Um, my husband and I have been extremely busy. I finally did, a couple months ago, go and get um, the shots required to go further ahead in, in fertility treatments. Um, and, yeah, so... Uh, the doctor knew about that, and my first appointment back to the fertility doctor is on the 5th, this Friday. Um, it's just a consult um, to see where I'm at, see see what I want to do next, uh, what we want to do next. Um, I am considering looking into the ARC fertility treatment program um, to help out with the cost, and just in case um, we have to get IVF that will sh surely help uh, with with the cost um, because my insurance does not cover IVF whatsoever it does however cover half I believe of IUIs um, it does not cover major medications which I think that my doctor was talking about the last time we saw him um, we were talking about doing injectables and those are not covered by my insurance. Um, now, I know that there are programs where you can get a discount for not having coverage um, for, I think, Gonal F and all of those. So I will hopefully be trying those out if, if that's where I need to go um, with uh, treatment-wise. So... Um, yeah, so this has been an extremely busy summer, I should say, um, because it's been nonstop. There's constantly been something happening, um, whether it be a baby shower or a birth or um, my sister lived with me for a little while. Um, it's My husband's been traveling a ton. I'm sorry if I keep looking up. I know it looks funny, but my windows there and I just have the need to look out the window I don't know um anyways my husband's been working out of town a ton um at least twice a week um at least two days out of the week um no no less so he's had I don't know he's he's probably had one or two days every other week off um not completely off, but like to where he's working in town and he can come home. Um, so we really haven't had the chance to try and conceive. Um, and I haven't really been thinking about it up until this month. Um, I don't know if that, what, what is causing me to, uh, backfire and want to go back into trying to conceive, um, with the doctor's help and everything. Uh, but, you know, it's... It's hard to take a break. Anyone that's been trying to conceive for more than a year knows that it is hard to take a break. Um, it has been seven years. My husband and I celebrated our seven year or our six year wedding anniversary on August twelfth, and we ended up going to a lodge for four days, and I ended up buying one of their horses. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, that's that's exciting. That's my husband made one of my childhood dreams come true. Um being a horse owner is extremely hard. It is way harder than I expected. Um there's so many things that I that I have yet to learn. Um plus my specific horse is very finicky about being bridled. So I have a lot of work to do with him. He was um, at the lodge. He was about three hours from us, so it was really hard to see him. I went out once a week to see him, and that still seemed like a you know a long drive, a lot of driving. Um, and we did finally move him closer. Now he's about 45 minutes away, which isn't as bad. But we kept him at the lodge for a month so I can learn more about him and his habits and how to take care of him. And the women there were wonderful. They literally taught me so much. But 
now that I've moved him and the people where he's staying now don't know anything about him, they can't teach me. They can only teach me what they know about every horse, you know. Um, so it's it's going to be a very tough transition. He's been at this new boarding place for about two weeks. Um, and we just now rode him uh, two days ago, Sunday. No, Saturday, sorry. Um, at his new new place. And he did fairly well, so... Um, I don't want to ramble on about my horse. Maybe I'll start making blogs about him, uh, learning, because I know that nowhere on YouTube is there a new horse owner, someone that's completely new to horses, um, that's starting from scratch, um, from, you know, bottom to top. Uh, I think it would be pretty cool to make new videos for women just, or, or not just women, but anyone just now learning um, you know, about their horse and how to, how to raise them and take care of them and what's needed and, and as much as I can learn, I can teach, you know, other people that need help. Um, on another note, like I said, my appointment is this Friday, um, and I will be talking to him, my doctor, about getting an HSG test done. Um, my husband doesn't really want to try this month, which we're kind of out this month anyways, because I believe I'm on cycle day three or four. Um, so, I mean, I couldn't really do anything now anyways. Um, but next month or the month after is definitely a go, um, as long as the doctor, uh, is okay with that. Um, probably next month. Um... So, I will keep you guys updated. Um, I will let you know what what's going on in the my fertility world. Um, and I guess that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.